Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Today we're making porchetta, and we're making a salsa verde to go with it. Now we're making kind of porchetta for at home, so it's not the whole pig or the side of the pig that you usually find if you go to a butcher in, in Italy. But we're making something that's easy to make at home and tastes just as good. But before we have a look at the different ingredients here, if you're not subscribing to the channel yet, please do me a favor, click the subscribe button and check that bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now let's have a look. So there's quite a lot of ingredients here. But don't worry, most of them are actually for the salsa verde. For the porchetta, we just need, in this case, a pork belly. Normally in Italy, it will be a side of pork or a whole pork. And the side obviously also has the, the pork loin in it. But the pork belly is just a pork belly, nice and fat. So we need a pork belly. We need some dried rosemary, pepperoncino, and dried fennel. Now, I don't like to do this with fresh herbs. Some people do, but I don't. Uh, we also need salt and black pepper. So that's what we need for the porchetta. Now for the salsa verde, we need a lot of parsley, some basil, we need anchovies, I have three fillets, three cloves of garlic, or two large ones, and about a good tablespoon of capers. We need a lemon, we need olive oil, and we need some salt and pepper for that as well. Now, the only thing that's not here that you're going to need are the two things. There's butcher's yarn to tie the porchetta together, and we're going to need a bit of vinegar. And I'll show you how we use that later. But now, let's get started with the pork belly so that we can tie up our porchetta and get it in the oven. And a good other tip is preheat your oven at 150 degrees Celsius. That's the starting temperature we're going to need. And what I've done, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's an oven tray filled with water as well, so that the fat drips into that. So I will clean up here so that we can get started with the pork belly. Now we need quite a bit of space, so I'll put two cutting boards together. First thing, I've already done this, but it's quite boring so I didn't film it. There's these kind of um, cartilage bones that go sideways like this. I cut them out. Here you would normally have the ribs. This is a perfect piece of pork belly. Now we're going to split this in half. So that's where we start. Now don't cut it all the way out so that you can overlap it. And then what we're going to do, I'll just show you quickly. We're going to roll it up like this. And there you have your porchetta. Now the butcher made a cut in here, which is a bit unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to tie this up. But now we need to season this. And to do that, we're going to cut into the meat. Not so hard so that you cut through the skin. See the skin is still intact. here as well a bit. Now get your herbs. So let's start on this side. Don't be scared of the salt. You need quite a bit. Uh, you normally say, I'm not weighing this, but you normally say 30 grams per kilo. I have two and a half kilos here, so that would be 75 grams. Some rosemary. 
And again, here, you're free to do what you prefer, right? As I said, I don't like fresh herbs, but a lot of people put fresh herbs in here. Some pepperoncino. Some fennel seeds. Like the real amazing porchettas in Italy, they don't use fennel seeds, they use fennel flour. Make sure to kind of massage all of this in. Now we open it up. Going to do the same here. Start with the salt. Get our rosemary in. Again, our pepperoncino. Fennel. And I think I forgot the pepper on the outside. So we'll do it on the inside. Be generous with the pepper as well. Like so. And again, massage all of this in so that you get in between the cuts that you made. And that's basically porchetta. Now we just need to roll it up. So what I'll do now is I'll clean up here a little bit and then we're gonna tie this one together. Now we're ready, we have our yarn. This is quite a weak one, so I need to double it up. And the easiest is just to Take a double measure. Let's start with the middle one. And we'll put this just to keep it in space, in place. But you put them over your hand like that, and then you move down and around twice. And then you go through the loop that you created. And you pull that tight. And then you can just use this like that. So we use that to kind of keep it in place. And then we do, I would say, maybe two centimeters in between in regular intervals. Now, some people like to kind of make a string like that and one like that. But on, on a small piece like that, you don't need that. So we're just gonna go around. So I'll see you once you're done with that. So, and as you can tell, I'm not a butcher, but this works perfectly. And now, we are gonna use the vinegar. We have some normal vinegar and a brush. And this is not typically Italian. This is something I stole from from the Asian cuisine, where they normally do this to get the pork really puffy and crispy. But I really think it makes a difference. So make sure you put vinegar everywhere on the skin. Now we're gonna get it in the oven, but before, if you have one of these, a thermometer, put it in to the middle. At the end, it should have around 72 degrees to 74 degrees. But we will take it out at a bit over 60 and then put some oil on the skin as well to get it really crisp and puffy. But put this in now until the core is just over 60. And then I'll see you again. And of course, I'll see you again before it's done because we're going to make the salsa verde. So I'll clean up here, set up the kitchen machine, and then we'll do the salsa. Now I'm just using this because I'm lazy. Put in all your herbs, your anchovies, your capers, and your garlic. The zest of one lemon, or half a lemon, let's see. Uh, it could obviously be zested better, so I would say it's half a lemon. A pinch of salt, 
a little bit of pepper. You don't need a lot of salt because obviously the anchovies and the capers are quite salty. I just add a little bit of olive oil to this. You can always add more afterwards. Leave that here. Put on the lid and let's get going. I'll see you once it's done. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm gonna add a bit more olive oil. And we'll add half a lemon to start with. And continue mixing. And I think we're we're there. Hmm. We need to season it a bit, but we'll take it out of this and put it in another container where it's easier to do that. So we'll give this another quick taste. Hmm. It does not need more acidity. It needs a bit more salt. A good pinch. And the quantity, I mean, in terms of the herbs, I would say four times the quantity of parsley to basil, basically. Perfect. I would just keep this in the fridge until we're ready to take out the porchetta. See in a bit. I look at this. It's already pretty spectacular. What I forgot to say was that obviously you need to make holes with a knife in it because otherwise it's just going to blow up. And now we have some olive oil and we're just going to pencil that on. Pencil, not pencil. Paint that on. And turn your oven up to around 200 degrees Celsius. And now it's really important to keep an eye on it because you don't want to burn it. And you might even need to kind of turn it a bit to get the bubbles and the crunch all over. You're not going to get it underneath, but at least on the sides and, and the top. So that's been oiled. It goes back in now. It was at 62 degrees. So I guess another maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then we should be at 72, maybe 15. So we'll put that back in, and then I'll see you again when it's ready to well, cool down, when it's ready, basically. I'll look at this and listen. It only took another 10 minutes, and I did turn it a bit. You see I have nice crust on both sides as well as the top. Now we need to leave it to cool down a little bit, but I can never help myself than to cut a small piece like this. It's very hot. Mm. That's without crackling now, so. A dream but leave it to cool down we'll do that or well, not exactly cold but cool down in temperature a little bit and then we'll serve it up so we've let it rest now for about 10 minutes and we're gonna cut the string the easiest way is just on the bottom Get rid of those. Now we'll start on this side. Cut off the end. This is excellent for anything, sandwich, whatever you want. And then we'll cut a nice slice. You can hear the sound of that. That looks pretty nice, I think. Nice fat from the, well, it is pork belly, right? Now we'll serve this up. So we'll take our slice. And normally, I would either serve this on a sandwich, which is amazing, or like this with the salsa verde and some 
oven potatoes. I'm not doing the oven potatoes today, but we have done the salsa verde. So we just put some on there. Now we're ready to dig in. Get some of the crackling. This is pretty spectacular. Obviously, when you make it at home and you just make it from pork, pork belly, it's a little bit fattier than if you would make it with the whole side of pork. But it's so good. And I think the salsa verde works really well with it because it's fresh. It has a sourness to it that kind of cuts through the fat from the lemon juice. And just the freshness of the herbs. But just listen to this again. I hope the microphone could pick that up well. And I just love the simplicity of the dish. It's, what did we have? We had pepperoncino, rosemary, and fennel. Those three, plus salt and pepper, and it just makes an incredible dish. And this is just to show you, this is a, for me, a perfect kind of homemade in a normal kitchen porchetta. And you saw how easy it was. So don't hesitate to give it a try. Mm. To me, perfect. Now there's some things you need to consider. If you don't have a thermometer, I don't know if I already mentioned it, but then you need to calculate about an hour per kilo of meat. And when you do that last step where you want it to puff up, you really need to watch it because it can puff up and burn really quickly. And you probably need to turn it a little bit so the sides also puff up. But except for that, it's really easy and it kind of looks after itself. And you saw the salsa verde too. You just put everything in the blender, run it, and you have salsa verde. You can do it by hand as well. But uh, if you have a blender, you know, it goes quicker, it's easier, less messy. But that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this porchetta. I hope you will give it a try yourself. And when we plate it up, I forgot to ask you a big question or a big favor, and that is to hit that thumbs up button. It's really important to me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. And if you're not doing so yet, you know the drill, subscribe and check the bell icon to get notifications. And leave a comment. I always answer comments. If it's a question about the dish or just a comment in general, you will always get an answer from me and I'm relatively fast. So leave me a comment as well. But that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.